Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today, let's briefly look at fluid simulations in Blender. So to simulate fluids in Blender, specifically liquids, let's add a cube. This is going to act as our domain. A domain is just an enclosure of your fluid simulation, uh, just to limit how much computation power Blender uses, because if it was to use, to simulate the entire scene, uh, it would take up a lot of computation power. So this is just setting limits where that uh, computation is going to take place. So this is right now is just a simple cube it's nothing it's not really a domain so to turn it into a domain you need to go to the physics tab and then under fluid change the type to domain and that will change it to our domain but right now the domain type is set to gas as that is the default we need to change it to liquids if we want to change to simulate liquids so now that we have done that let's add an inflow object an inflow object is just an object that uh, lets us in fluids into your scene or consider it as a tap or faucet that uh, pushes water, pumps water in, or liquids into your scene. So to do that, we can use a plane or any mesh object. Uh, so we can use a plane here. And I want to use a plane first because I want to talk about something, uh, uh, some changes that have been brought in uh, with Mantaflow. So if we go to the fluids, again, fluid, uh, flow, again, you need to make sure that the type is set to liquid uh, so that we we uh, simulate liquids and uh, in the flow behavior we have a few settings here we have inflow outflow and geometry uh, geometry is just the volume of your object planes don't have volume because they don't ha they don't have a height value uh, but uh, if you had a cube the entire volume of your object would be uh, the, f the fluid and then you, ha you also have uh, inflow this is like a tap so it will uh, calculate the volume of your object per frame and then uh, push that or pour that into uh, the scene per frame uh, you also have outflow uh, this is just an object that uh, cancels out or removes any fluids in your scene so if you have fluids flowing in your scene and you have an outflow if those fluids touch your, your outflow object uh, they will be are removed from your scene uh, consider it as an outlet uh, that lets out the fluids but instead of letting them out it just uh, removes them from your scenes from your scenes entirely uh, so from that we have um, we have yeah let's go back to geometry and talk about something uh, because uh, the plane doesn't have any any volume let's make sure this is liquid okay uh, if we play back are uh, you also notice that uh, in the domain settings, we don't have the bake button anymore. Uh, that's because it has been changed or duplicated uh, for... So instead of using the bake button, you just hit play and uh, the fluid simulation will start simulating. You can also see that uh, my frame rate has also dropped uh, because now Blender is simulating the fluids. And uh, at, after frame 50, uh, it goes back up to 25 per frame, which is the normal frame rate uh, right now. And uh, that's because in the cache settings you will see that uh, our end frame is set to 50 so after frame 50 uh, everything goes back to normal because blender is no, no longer simulating any fluids but you see we have simulated but nothing is uh, flowing here we don't have any fluids yet uh, again that's because our uh, planes don't have volume and uh, mantle flow takes volume into consideration when it's uh, simulating uh, fluid so to give this volume we just have to go to edit mode and extrude it so that we have some volume and now we can simulate again nothing is happening uh, because of how uh, Manda flow works now we don't have any bake button we just use playback to simulate uh, the the fluids again I don't know why they did it this way because it's a bit confusing uh, so now we are playing back there was a simulation except that uh, we don't have any fluids yet and uh, Blender is still playing back the previously simulated uh, simulation, fluid simulation or is playing back from the catchy we simulated previously and uh, it hasn't updated it though we have made changes to the uh, to the object or to our scene so to make updates uh, since we don't have a big button previously you just have uh, the free catch it here button and the bake button so you just free catch it and then bake again uh, right now we don't have that those buttons anymore i'm not sure why they are doing the doing it like this again because it's a bit confusing so to make 
change it or to refresh your cache, you'd have to change any of the settings in your domain uh, object. So for example, I usually like to use uh, the use adaptive time time step. So I'll uncheck it and uh, that will clear the cache and check it back again to uh, bring the value again. And uh, now I can play back and you see uh, the fluid simulation will work. And just to emphasize what I'm talking about here or to make it to make the point clear, there is no bake of free button, free cache buttons anymore. Uh, you have to just hit space to play back uh, for your simulation to work. The problem with that is that uh, if say I wanted to say you can see that our fluid source is this object. So say I rotate this object and move it aside. Blender is still using the previously cached uh, simulation to play back. And uh, since playback is what is used to play for playback, for playing back the simulation and uh, to simulate, uh, to bake the fluid at the same time, hitting playback again, I don't know, maybe Blender doesn't know what to do, whether to rebake the cache or to, to play back the simulation. That's why there is no update. So it's still playing back the, the previous. This is very confusing. I'm not sure why they're doing the, doing it like this. Uh, a big button is way much efficient. So to refresh or to remove this catcher, you would have to go back to uh, the domain setting, changing any setting in the in the flow in the in the inflow object doesn't affect catcher. As you can see, I've changed the source, the initial velocity, and everything here, and uh, nothing happens. You need to change, even when you add an effector, which is basically an obstacle object. Uh, they are ch they'll change them. Instead of calling them uh, obstacles, now they're called effectors. So I can see it's collision. This doesn't affect uh, the simulation again. So to make any changes or to refresh Kache or to back again, you have to go back to the domain and change a setting here. Uh, again, I'm using adaptive as time step because I can check it and, and uncheck it and check it back again uh, to refresh Kache. You can see now the simulation has been reset. And uh, now, yeah, my initial velocities, my velocities here are quite high. So let me just bring them back something no that's big again you'd have to go back to the uh, to the yeah that's why i prefer using a big button instead of this playback button you can see that if you want to change a setting here maybe increase the the z velocity you would have to go back click the domain and check check a value i hope this is not the final way how uh, they're doing this because it's really really it's, it's a lot of steps for something simpler for something that should be very simple to do But uh, what I like about Manaflow flow is that it's a bit faster than the previous, uh, th than the previous uh, simulator. So, uh, if you want to bake the mesh, as you can see, we, we we are right now just looking at particles. But if you want to bake the mesh, and you just have to go to select the fluid, fluid object. Uh, actually, I think it's uh, you select the domain, and then find uh, the mesh, and. Uh, then, then you don't have to catch it again. You just have to check it and then play back. I may want to start from frame one. From frame one, sometimes playing back from zero doesn't really work. You need to move back to nearly near the end of your timeline, play back so that uh, the timeline the timeline resets and uh, everything will reset for you as well. Yeah, so that's how you bake the mesh. You just check this uh, mesh, uh, yeah, option, and uh, things will start to work. Uh, we also, you can also bake spray from 
all of those you just have to check them hit playback and they will all start to work those parts are very very easy and i think uh, that those it, it makes things better working like that but uh, the only thing i'm the only complaint i would have here is uh, uh the big button is very confusing with if you don't have it working yeah basically that's it uh, that's uh, a quick update on uh, the new manta flow fluid simulation thank you for watching